Hello, Pendle here from Soundust, and I'm here with a new talk through of the new instrument, the cloud viola, or it might be a viola. I'll let you decide. Without further ado, I've got the uh, default patch loaded, which is the kind of basic catch all patch, and let's have a quick listen to what it sounds like. Here you go. <laughs> Those waverings of volume are my foot on an expression pedal. I'll demonstrate or explain later. Anyway, there you go. That's the basics. That's the cloud viola. What it is, it's a very um, cunning thing, I think, I've made here. It's basically a viola, but instead of played in a conventional way, it's played with kind of 10 meter or five meter to be more accurate lengths of very coarse garden twine which let me just take the other stuff off gives you this sound that's me on the volume but we've got Um, five round robins per note, around about 20 seconds of um, sample before they loop. Hundreds and hundreds of samples. It's basically, yes, it's built around that, that idea that if you play a viola or any stringed instrument, and there will be more versions of this, play any stringed instrument with something other than a bow, you get something quite interesting. It sounds like Angry Bees or a million mandolins or whatever you want it to sound like. That's the high notes. That's the starting point. And then amongst that, we've got some other sounds as well, some more articulations. These are straightforward bowed notes, which basically has the effect of giving a bit of an accented beginning, which of course, of course can also be played on their own. You've also got some collegno notes. Now there's two um, different colored bows here because basically they're two different mics. The black ones are um, a Rode um, large diaphragm valve condenser and the white ones are an AKG contact mic which is stuck to the body of the poor beast. So these give you a bit of um, ping if you need it. And then over here, you've got the clouds. Now what these are, let me just put that back to the right octave for now, octave control per thingamabob. These are, the black cloud is basically that, the twined version, or the black twine, the uh, valve condenser twine, played 100% wet through a hardware uh, reverb made by a very famous reverb company that rhymed with Pyman. I'll say no more. So this, and then it's played through a, um, it's the gay, uh, grain oscillator on cocktail, cocktail, contact. Got a format control here. But that's a 100% wet reverb, reverbed version of that. And then the white, cloud is 100% wet reverb versions of that of that one so it's like it's the um you know photocopy of a photocopier scenario but this one is isn't going through the grain uh, oscillator in contact still has a form and filter with the control put them all together And it sounds rather lovely. It's me 
fading in the string. There is, of course, many, many other controls as well, which I'll go through now. So that's your basics. So we've got... Obviously, these are all volumes. Um, pans here. So you can actually use... What I like to do is use the, uh, the two mics as a kind of... Quite a good way of getting a good stereo image. And them hard left and hard right. We've also got here, sneakily hidden away, is a phase button as well. So you can invert the phase. Which gives you a slightly different sound, but it's useful. Um, and filters as well. Low pass filter on all the oscillators. Uh, down here, we've also got a joint thingamabob. Verb. Now this is the reverb send to over here, which is the convolution reverb, which we have some of the aforementioned reverb unit. There. So these are convolution reverbs of the actual reverb unit that they were put through at a later stage. You can also, let's take that off, you can also click on that again, and you've got a delay per oscillator group, we'll call them that. So you can then add levels of delay. And this is your delay unit here. So each oscillator has their own one of these, their own delay unit. And then you've also got the, uh, oops, delay send as well. Bit of overkill there. Then you've also got, per oscillator, you've got the uh, standard ADSR for fading in, release, etc. You've also got vibrato. That's vibrato speed, for doing crazy stuff. Angry bees. Angry mosquitoes. Boards of Canada. You choose. Uh, so hard right, it's it's a different phase of the um, vibrato pitch. So it starts off going down that way, and it starts off going up that way. It's not a very technical explanation, but you know what I mean. And then down here we've got tremolo and speed. Which is rather nice as well. Put them all together. And that's just, oh, we've got the red feathers. These distortion or saturation and pitch. Now you can go to wild extremes here, that's four octaves up. Sounds a bit crazy, but it has its usefulnesses in uh, sound design. Remember, this this instrument isn't about authenticity. We're not trying to make, we're not trying to compete with all the big posh uh, viola libraries out there. We're trying to make something entirely different. By the power of reverb, mainly. Um, We've also got, so that's the general controls per oscillator. The cloud ones are slightly different in that they've got their own separate, let's do this one, they've got their own separate algorithmic <coughs> reverb units, which is size and that's damping. They've got their own format filters and then this is, um, this is the ADSR again, volume envelope and... Now, of course, one of the great things, everything is right-clickable, learn, mod wheel. See what I mean? Right-click, remove, gone. Over here, we've got delay, an uh, overall delay unit. 
uh, which that's the mix control there. You drag the label. Rotor. Speed. Filth. Drag that. There's more nastiness. Uh, and that's the overall nastiness. Which, you know, these two. Right click. Learn. Mod wheel. Left click. Right click again. Get rid of it. Tone control. So you can quickly go through various EQ possibilities. You can do that. Uh, here are your... your Algorithmic reverbs. We've got quite a few different sections here. We've got the big sky selection, which are all based on that piece of reverb. Oh, you can't see because it goes off the page. We've got some new O'Reillys as well, which are various um, strange sounds, which you can't hear on this one, of course. So that's the basic. Oh, yeah, duh. Uh, that is. Oh, turn him off. Various amp convolution reverbs. And then down here, EQ as well. As with, with the other things, MIDI learnable. Very handy. Now, the, uh, the Cloud Viola comes with a whole heap of presets. Um, I could go through some, but they might take a little while to load. But they've all got something nifty modelled or mapped to the mod wheel. So whatever you do, always try the mod wheel out. I'm just grabbing one at random here. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. Still loading. Still loading. Still loading. Has to load quite a lot into memory because of the... So that's using mod wheel and expression pedal. That's about it. It's a fantastic instrument. I've got to say that. I mean, I would say that. Instructions over here um, explains everything, hopefully better than I have. Shows you a picture of uh, the poor abused viola. There's a contact mic. The um, overhead mic was slightly over there, and there's some coarse string playing it. I hope you like it. There's lots. Oh, over here. Velocity control. How much? How hard you have to hit the note? Or oh, no, that's not the way of describing velocity. How the note playback is affected by how hard you hit the key. That way. No velocity. That way. Delicate. Um, after touch is bending. Gives you a crazy bending effect. That way it goes down. A little bit of subtle. I like a bit of after touch bend bending. Me. Let's play you a kind of, there's also some more straightforward, slightly authentic, authentic version sounds. So you can do... You can do slightly authenticness, um, but like I say, I wouldn't recommend it for that alone, but it's just come in very useful, things like that as well. Um, there's lots of great SoundCloud demos made with this by some really great musicians and composers, which are really worth having a listen to because they kind of demonstrate a lot of the possibilities, possibly more than I have today. But um, I hope that makes a lot of sense to you. Uh, thank you very much for listening and watching, and bye-bye. Um,